Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 30th, May 1st, and 2nd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So this is a general reading, and you know when I am reading for the weekends, I'm using, of course, my two Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Now, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message, and it's best when I don't even try to understand it. So, yeah, it does get delivered, and I've had many of you tell me that. couple of things going on. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your well wishes, your positivity, your prayers, whatever this is that you have been sending because it has been working and it feels wonderful. So thank you so much. Um, I, you know, please continue. I do want to let you know that I, there could be some interruptions. I'm not, you know, quite sure how this is going to work, but there could be some interruptions in the readings. I'm so, so sorry. I will be going out of town, most likely probably so just letting you know that um nothing you know not quite sure of my dates yet but just wanted to let you know so um as it gets closer i'll let you know that too i do not like to do the readings too far in advance because that you know i i just doesn't feel as um i don't know as organic so i don't know what i'll be doing with that but it'll all work so let's start with the readings and again thank you all so much please remember to like share subscribe over there that's right it does help thank you hello my aquariuses how are you well let's see what we have for this weekend okay okay cards are all no nope, not jumping thought they were jumping it's going to be an interesting weekend. I do think it's going to be, there's going, I think there's going to be a lot of very strong psychic um, energy happening this weekend. Let's see what we have, though, for my Aquariuses. Now, this is, any reversed cards have stronger energy, too. So we, the first two are reversed. Third one is not let's see what we have here okay first card is the knight of air okay knight's underlying energy is fire okay it is our leo sagittarius it's our aries energy passionate burning air energy is your energy it's also um gemini it's also um libra energy thought you know they're thinking things through Something, you know, I'm kind of getting, okay, knights are very directional, so that, you know, once they get started on a path, it's like, you, you it's very hard to, um, you know, dissuade them or have them go down another path. So this is something, there's thought process, there's strategic thinking, there's a lot of, but I'm kind of feeling like something's lit your fire, something, you're going after something that you've been wanting. Um it's not necessarily an easy pathway. I wanted to let you know that I'm feeling it's not necessarily easy, but I'm feeling that it is something that has been, you know, my, my Aquarius says you have been, you know, you've, you've had such a stop, go, stop, go for, I don't know how many years, shall we say, but it's kind of like it, it, I just feel like, you know, like, like you're, like you're being held back. You're being, there's these ties that are holding you back and you are just pushing your boundaries, you are pushing those ties, and there's and these ties are breaking, okay? They're truly, truly breaking now, and it just, you just need a little more energy to just break free of whatever this is, okay? I'm, just, I'm this is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm, what I'm, you know, I, and it's just like you just need a little bit more, and then it's gonna be, things are just gonna push forward. Then you're gonna say, oh my goodness, there will be a little bit of this, what did I do, energy. And then you're just going to suck it up and you're going to say, I did what I wanted to. Anyway, the night of air, very strategic, but at the same time, very passionate, very directional, going after what you want. Here we are. Intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. 
Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. Your next card is, again reversed, the Three of Water. Now, threes have, are very strong, very powerful number. We have the, you know, the power of three. It's also celestial divine number. We have the Trinity, you know, coming together, doing something three times, three people coming together. Water energy is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio, fluid emotional energy. It, but this is all about celebration. This is all about, again, you're, you know, you might have a little bit of hesitancy. You know, it's like the, you just need a little push, just a little push, and you're, go, you know, you're about to break those ties, take, break the bonds that are holding you back. It's just, you know, I mean, you don't have to do that, though. You don't have to decide, you know, you could say, no, this is where I want, but that want to be. But the thing is, my Aquarians, you've been, you've been so tied I don't know how many years now. And again, it's just like you just need that little bit of that push and then things break. And this, the three of water, is about celebration. The three of water is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this. Now, I thought this for, I, you know, this is coming up again for me. I said this to Libra, um, but I'm going to say this to you too. Watch for when Jupiter goes into Pisces. Yes, it's, you know, it is in, Jupiter is in Aquarius right now. Um, but it's going to, sometime in May, I think early May, I keep thinking May 6th, but I don't, I don't count that on, don't, don't put that down. You can look that up on the internet. But it's transitioning into Pisces, and I just feel, for two months, for two months, and then I'll go back into Aquarius. But I just feel that this is this is a sense of journey for you and that this is a sense of discovery for you. So again, three of water is about a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. And and when and when this popped, I got that thing again about Pisces and the Jupiter, you know, Jupiter transitioning to Pisces for two months. Here we go. Next card. The nine of fire. So nine, three and nine, nine is, you know, nine is three squared, but nines have a completion to it. Nines are like, you know, all the pieces are coming together with the puzzle. Um, all you need to do with that now is to press them into place. It's not even that you have to pick one up. It's just you have to press it into place to see the, you know, to make sure that all the rough edges and everything are now smoothed, okay? Fire energy, I told you what fire energy is about. This is determination. This is standing firm. This is not letting mountain, not letting roadblocks turn into mountains, not letting mountains um, stop you, okay? So don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. And I do love her. I love her so much because she just stands. I mean, here she's this slight little thing. But yet she stands with so much courage and so much strength. I like to think of her as the t dragon tamer, the dragon slayer. Anyway, I do, you know, she's one of those cards that you just like, oh my gosh, I love, when I see that, I, it's like, I can do anything. I, I, you know, or you can do anything. Here we are. One last card for you, my Aquarians, or, you know, in the reading. This one is reversed. This is the page of Ariel. So something here. So the page of Ariel. So whatever this is could be about how you make your money or how you create your wealth or your work and you know your work. A lot of times this Ariel is earth energy. We're in uh, Taurus right now. Um, it's also our Virgo. It's our Capricorn. Very tangible. Something, someone you can touch. A lot of times it could be your home. Um, it could be about your work, your job, your career, how you make your money. Like I said, usually when the page of Ariel comes in, it usually means that there, there's a very strong sense on getting a new job, if that's what you've been looking for, or a new promotion. There's a lot of job energy with the page of Ariel because this is, you know, this is earth, earth energy. It could also, I am also getting a new home here. Now, what is a new home? It could be it even, you know, could be, um, it doesn't have to be a house in a traditional manner, but it's a new sense of belonging, a new place to belong into, okay? 
So there, there's a lot of that energy with this page. And the page is also very enthusiastic, excited. The page is one of those, you know, the, I can do anything. It's, you know, just let's just get it done type of. There's, there's this underlying sense of, of positive, optimistic um, energy with the page. And a lot of times this has to do, again, since it's aerial, since it's an earth, earth energy, it has to do with your home or more likely your job or career um, or a new venture in how you make your money. Anyway, reliable, clever, educated, balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So it's kind of like, you know, nothing's holding you back right now. That night of air, nothing want, you know, nothing's holding you back, my Aquarians. It's, it's, you know, it's just like, I just feel like those bonds that have been holding you back or have been, you know, you have struggled against them so much. Your struggles have, cre you know, are the one, are what has made these things break. Also a little, a little or maybe a lot of help from higher power. Here we go. Let's see what crystal or energy is helpful for my Aquariuses. Here we go. Azurite, that keeps coming up. That keeps coming up. And I do shuffle. Here is some Azurite here. At least I believe this is my Azurite. Is this it? I do believe it is. Anyway, Azurite, divine guidance, stillness, new connections, astral travel and now astral travel i am picking up travel so you might be traveling again um maybe astrally or maybe in more the reality or more in the natural so my aquarius says remember please the button over there because it does help please like share subscribe as always my aquariuses know that you are loved stay shining and be blessed Bye-bye.